So at the beginning of the movie, we see here at the beginning of the movie, it's set in Los Angeles, 2029 AD. And we see the aftermath of some type of, well, just destruction, some type of, <laughs> it's been going down. Yeah, it just seems so destroyed. I mean, I know we saw in the first movie and in this movie, but like how in the world are humans surviving? It looks like nuclear winter has been set upon the world. And like Los Angeles isn't just like a little bit destroyed. It's completely destroyed. So unnecessarily flattened. Like as a machine, I just need to kill the person. I don't got to wreck all the cars and the structures which i guess are like my like cousins of machines right they're like they're like not as smart as me but like i recognize them i recognize they're also machines well i guess is this from overkill is this from the nukes this from the nukes right that they destroyed the all the cities just 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 pummel it pummel it with nukes i i think not and the reason i think not so 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 definitely there was damage from the nukes the reason i think Mm -hmm. not is because all these cars are wheels down if all the cars, if it's from the nuclear explosion, wouldn't it be like tossed around or My hunch, my hunch is that these cars were trying to leave the city, maybe after the nuke, mm-hmm. maybe after the machines started going on them. And then those flying guys, the flying machines were like, uh, shoot, 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 shoot. And that's yeah. why these are all messed up from the top. I see. So I wonder what's the carrying capacity of the earth at this point without <laughs> human infrastructure in place? And how much of a resistance can humans actually give the robots? Because the right. robots don't care about like sleeping and noise, and they don't care about like quiet. water and food, yeah. like mental health. Like they don't, they don't care. They just they right. kill. Right. So heck, even if you're if you're in Los Angeles and you're like, we got brothers down in San Diego that need support, and you're like, well, the roads are blocked. Like, well, yeah, the San Diego's on their own. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and this is a uh, this is John Connor looking at a battle between robots and and people, and I was like, "What? The robots have infrared vision, right?" <laughs> and so That's he's right. just standing out in the open, like they could just be—they're pinpoint accurate, right? They're robots. That's right. So you get one of these just, flying robots that's like, "Hey, why are these random people just staying on the edge of the battle, mm-hmm. like watching? Like, oh, yeah. they're important. You go go attack them." Yeah, just like scan the field i just look at all the points even if it's not a human it's a rabbit or something you just you know a couple shots for each one actually yeah why do they even care about rabbits machines don't care just shoot everything just shoot everything it's not like do they have ammo constraints i don't think so it's anything biological just f- it up and then this human here on the left has i guess it's at least some kind of night vision vision enhancement looks like looks like night vision so humans got need that it, green glow but right but robots have it all the all the wavelengths built into their sensors from the get-go that's right like such an advantage how could we do any damage that's right we have to strap on to our on strap onto our faces these night vision or maybe infrared or even binoculars whereas Mm -hmm. whereas robots the machines they just have it built in just specced just what they already got yeah they have like a bunch of sensors bunch of eyes of different for different wavelengths and different Mm -hmm. intensities daytime nighttime everything and man, that's such an advantage. And if if John Connor needs binoculars to see stuff, and this guy needs night vision to see stuff, what are mm-hmm. these guys in the background doing? They're just they're struggling to see anything. They're struggling <laughs> to see anything. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> so their like defense perimeter is like ten feet, <laughs> ten feet in front of me. Watch yeah. out. That's a good point. Also, not only do the not only do they have the different wavelengths, but John Connor has binoculars here, so. The robots have all the different sensors at different, like, far away lens and close in uh, lens and wide mm-hmm. lens. Ah, oh, such an advantage. Such an advantage. Yeah, humans would be would have a rough time in this war. Yeah, absolutely. I'm not sure we'd be able to win it. I'm not sure either. 